Hi, this is Sylvia Robledo from Political Sazon and we're here at Homegirl Cafe in downtown Los Angeles. Today we're interviewing Antonio Gonzalez, the president of Southwest Voter Registration Project. We're also going to be meeting Patty, the chef. We're going to be cooking. It's going to be exciting, delicious, and fun. So what are we cooking today? I know Antonio Gonzalez from Southwest Voter Registration Project is a big fan of Homegirl Cafe. Tell us what we're going to cook for him. We're going to make a very, very good recipe here in the cafe. We have been making this jalapeno pesto for many years. At least myself, I've been making this same recipe for about 20 years. We are making jalapeno pesto and we are going to serve it with pico de gallo, pico de gallo and salmon. Great, healthy, delicious, omega-3, lots of colors. And who do we have here assisting us? Ruthie, and Ruthie has been with us in the cafe for about a year yeah. or so. Mm -hmm. And she is one of our star co uh, cooks here in the kitchen. And uh, she's getting ready for dinner tonight, so she'll be giving us a hand right now. Great, well we need all the help we can get. So let's call Antonio Gonzalez in. Antonio, you like pesto? I love pesto. So let's make our special pesto here. I'm gonna put in the chilies. So let's put the spinach. Well, instead of pine nuts like the Italians use, we're gonna use pecans. Did we put, did we put basil? Well, the aromas are wonderful. The, the basil and the walnuts and the garlic and the salmon, it's just, the smell is fantastic, and our audience can't smell it, but we sure can. Well, thank you so much for giving us the recipe. It is one of those things that people can actually do at home. It's real simple, delicious, and very common ingredients. Now that everything is cooking, let's go inside the dining area, and we can sit down and talk to Antonio. And eat. And eat, exactly. What do you think is uh, something that's very distinctive about being Mexican-American in our culture? Mexican cuisine is distinctive in the world. You know, when I, before I started to travel, I used to think if you were a Latino, that meant that you ate chili. And you know, when we were all machistas, Chicanos growing up, right. we went to college. Yeah, but the, in some all Latin the, America comes together. All the white kids, you take jalapenos yeah. with you and hot sauce and stuff. You think to be Latino is to eat chili. When I started traveling in Latin America, I realized that's not true. Now let's go into a little bit more of the um, politics and policy that you're involved with. Southwest uh, Voter Registration Project is probably, to me, one of the strongest and more well-known nonprofit organizations for Mexican-Americans in the country. Tell me what the mission of it. Uh, we believe in giving the community the tools to organize themselves, to exercise their vote, to develop their own political, social, and economic agenda, and to use those tools to affect change. Do you think young people are gonna turn out to vote a lot of people are predicting that they only came out because of Obama. Are they going to come out and participate in elections? It entirely depends on us. It depends on the leadership. It depends on uh, if we orient to them, if we mobilize them, if we think about it and are aggressive about it. And it depends uh, on uh, things that happen in the economy and in Washington. If Obama doesn't and the Congress don't deliver on their promises, they'll be it'll be harder. If they do, it'll be easier because people will see I voted, I there was change, it helped me, I'm gonna vote again. Tell me about the difference between the way uh, women or Latinas vote, and also do you have any demographics on the way gay Latinos vote? We don't have data on gay Latinos. It's a good, uh, uh, we should probably start asking. You should start asking. should start asking. Especially now with gay marriage being a very important we, thing we, here in California we, and across do, the country. We do have data on Latinas, and what we find is that there is uh, basically uh, almost no difference in behavior between Latinos and Latinas on how they're voting. It's a, it's a difference in degree. There's no issues where Latinos vote one way and Latinos vote the other way. I remember in the 1996 election there was a headline it said New York, the New York Times has said uh, Latinos make the difference in the presidential election. 